What up fam? Hope you guys are doing well. Welcome back to the channel. So it is Thursday, November 16th, and we're just about ready to head out to DC for me to compete this weekend at the Ben Weeders Naturals. Where I've talked about it before, guys. If I win the overall this show, I become an IFBB pro, which is honestly just crazy to even think about. So um, we're gonna drive down to DC. It's about a six hour drive, which honestly for me is probably like the limit where I would drive instead of flying. The way I was thinking about it is like if the total travel time flying between like getting to the airport, waiting to get on the plane, flying, getting off the plane is about the same or more than the time it would take to drive, I'll just always drive because it's not only like the money you're saving from, you know, gas versus a plane ticket, but you're also saving money by not paying for Ubers to and from the airport. You're not paying for money to pay for Ubers when you're there or getting a rent a car. You don't have to pay for bags and then it's like, the convenience of being able to just move at your own schedule, leave when you want to leave. If you want to stay longer, you can stay longer. You can bring whatever you want with you. You don't have to worry about like TSA and all that stuff. So for me, it always works so better to drive. So I'm kind of happy to be doing that. And six hours isn't really that bad. I did a six hour drive to Chicago earlier in the summer. So kind of excited about it. Right now, I'm just getting all my meals put together for the actual trip. So I just heated them up, got them in Ziploc baggies. So they're ready to go whenever I need them. And I wanna show you guys everything I'm bringing, all the show day goodies that I've got for you. Gonna whip this out, give you guys a full rundown. So starting with the front pocket, we've got sodium. Gotta have the salt packet so we can track our sodium intake. We've got the Skittles, essential for being backstage when you're pumping up. Then we've got some smooth move tea. If you know, you know. I've got all sorts of goodies in here right now. We've got... So like some asparagus, a little bit of beef. I probably won't be doing much beef over the next few days, but I just brought some just in case. We've got some cooked chicken, more cooked chicken, which will be the bulk of my protein over the next few days. Got a shit ton of rice. Then we've got some salt-free seasonings just to add flavor to the food where we're not really putting a lot of sodium on it. Uh, we've got some honey, of course. Gotta have the peanut butter in the squeezable form. I don't know why I never discovered this before. This is so much easier to like track the actual quantity when you're squeezing it on versus trying to scoop it on with a spoon. Much easier there. Rice cakes, of course, bodybuilder staple, and then Rice Krispies. So I'll normally pound one or two of these uh, about 30 minutes before I get on stage. And then when I do get on stage, I'll have the Skittles, salt, honey, uh, yeah, Skittles, salt, and honey in a very specific order um, to really give you the maximum pump when you're pumping up. I won't say exactly what it is just yet, but I've got my formula down. See, I'm just sitting here reflecting on this entire prep and what the experience has been for me because it's been a very long process. I've been in prep formally for 16 weeks now, but I started working with my coach 28 weeks ago. So for the past 28 weeks, I've really been dieting very aggressively. I don't say aggressively, but my diet has been very regimented, eating basically the same things every day for the past 28 weeks. I've done at least five days of cardio every week for that 28 week period. And I've done cardio seven days a week for the past three months. So this past Monday, it's Thursday now, was my last cardio session of this prep. And being done with it just felt so incredible. Just thinking about how long of a road it was for me to get here but I feel excellent. You know, my last show at Summer Shredding, I brought an amazing package to the stage and it showed because I took home um, my class win, both shows that I competed in at Summer Shredding. Um, but the one thing I was really lacking or I felt I was lacking was some fullness. I depleted really hard, got to a very low body fat percentage, which is great when you're on stage. But, you know, when you're competing against guys that um, are bringing like their best to the show because of how important it is, I have to make sure that I'm not only conditioned, but also full. Like, being the most ripped guy on stage is helpful, but you gotta have a good amount of size and fullness too. So the focus for the four weeks I had after some shredding leading into this show was really about just maintaining my conditioning and then trying to go into this week maintaining a lot of fullness so that I don't go on stage looking too flat and I'm able to really compete with those guys that have you know a lot of size and are bubbly and all that stuff too. After some shredding though, I think I gained 10 pounds of just Texas barbecue alone, man. Like, <laughs> All the food we had afterwards, I had, so we had four Day of Sauce chicken sandwiches the night of the show. We had some Ben and Jerry's. Then I had a Texas barbecue the next day, a shit ton of Texas barbecue. I had pizza when I got home, had some cupcakes, you know. So the week after, I was eating pretty good. 
And I went from 182 to 193 in about five days. And, you know, that's not so uncommon. Like after a show, you end up putting on weight very quickly because your body is just starving for, for calories and glycogen. So you'll have a big portion of that that's going to be water coming back that you've drained out your system in the days leading up to a show. Like even right now, my water is down to about 40 ounces per day, which is not even a quarter of what I was drinking just a week ago, right? So you really taper down your water intake. And then once you finish the show and you start drinking fluids again, your body just soaks all of that up, you know? Um, so my goal for this next show and afterwards is to not try and put on weight as quickly. You know, the food's not going anywhere. So I want to make sure that I can be, you know, very methodical about enjoying being out of prep and getting to eat real food again, but not overdoing it or putting a lot of fat because, you know, I still want to maintain my physique. I want to bulk over the next year and I want to put on size, but I want it to be quality size. And if you're eating junk food, yeah, your diet's shitty. You're not eating quality calories. You're not going to be putting on quality mass. This morning I checked in and I was 189.2, which is about five pounds heavier than I was when I checked in at this time for summer shredding. So at first I was like really uneasy about it. Like, man, did I make a mistake not depleting harder? Should I have just, you know, run myself out and just try and get to as lean as possible for the show? But then I looked at my check-in photos and the fullness I have right now <laughs> compared to where I was last time is not even comparable. Like my chest is so much more full and my chest, as I've said multiple times, you guys might've known is my weakness. So I need to make sure that that's the one thing that really fills up before I go on stage. And the fullness is there right now. And I know that if I need to, I can necessarily hop on the Stairmaster or the treadmill, sweat out some additional water weight and be able to go into the show. If not as conditioned, pretty close out condition I was a summer shredding, which is a package that I want to emulate and just improve on. So that's where we're at. Just got to go in and leave it all on the stage this weekend and hope for the best. But guys, I've put in so much work. And no matter what happens this weekend, I am just so proud of being able to commit to this process for as long as I did. It was not an easy prep, especially with all the travel that I had. I was just looking back at it um, two days ago, all the trips that I made while I was in prep. And uh, that's not conventional. Normally, when you're in prep, you want to stay put, stay in one place, just focus on the training. But I had travel for work that I had to really be responsible for. So lugging around food with me all over the place, you know, to Austin, Detroit, Chicago, Belize, Toronto, Nashville, Minneapolis, uh, Cabo, Kansas City, Portland, all over the place. Just making sure I can stick to my diet, always finding it to make and get my workouts in, just not letting anything, not allowing anything to be an excuse for me not to bring my best package to the stage. So that's where we're at, fam. Let's hit the road. Catch you guys in DC. Right now, we've got four ounces of chicken, some sad dried up peanut butter, rice, and asparagus. So today and tomorrow, my carbs are going up, my protein is going down, and uh, vegetables, I'm gonna also be tapering those down as well because at some point, they just have to sit in your stomach, and something like broccoli tends to have your body hold a bit more water. Asparagus, uh, even though like the macronutrient profile is the same, the properties of the vegetable are different, so, it actually has the opposite effect of broccoli where it acts as almost a natural diuretic, having you strip a little bit more water. So I have a little bit of asparagus for my meals today, a little bit less tomorrow, and then obviously none on show day. But I'm just trying to just get the essentials as fats, carbs, and protein. Also, one salt packet for a little bit of taste. <laughs> Mm. All right, so we're fueled up. Not the car, but us. Then we're gonna hit the road. We still got a long way to go. It's about four and a half hours till we're out of here, so. Or till we're in DC. I don't know why I said we're out of here. We're out of here right now. Probably stop again in about two hours, I would say. Maybe two and a half to eat again and then let everybody freshen up. And then from there, it should be just a straight shot down to DC. All right, fam, so we just stopped in Maryland. We're about an hour and a half away from D.C. Uh, we changed the plans. We're going to go straight to check-in instead of going to the Airbnb first, but I've got to check in with my coach, and we're on the highway, so we've got to stop and get these check-in photos done. So uh, <laughs> let's just do this thing.
hardest thing of these one salt packets, man. Food is so bland. But I'm using the uh, cilantro lime rice and unrefined, so it tastes a little bit better. It's got a bit more flavor to it. Mmm. What are you guys thinking? So there's this Italian place called RPM. Okay. Uh, and then, I don't know. Two different sushi spots. We're trying to pick a sushi spot. That's the restaurant And then that, see how it's going. We got it. 394. Alright fam, so we just made it into the Airbnb. Already checked in for the show, checked into the room for the weekend, so all we're gonna do now is get another meal. I've got two left for the night. This one's gonna be just some beef, rice, and asparagus. And then I've got chicken and rice that I'm gonna hit after we finish the workout. We're gonna hit a full upper body day at DMV Iron Gym that I'm really excited to take you guys through. Gonna do back, chest, shoulders, a little bit of arms, maybe some abs. I then do a short little walk at the end too to get some more water weight out of me. But that's pretty much where we're at. Really excited to be finally here after a long day of traveling. Just get some food and then kick back and relax tonight. Tomorrow we're gonna to spend some time enjoying the city, get our spray tan on, and then Saturday, it's game day. There she is. Chicken and rice coated in salt-free garlic and herb seasoning. Adding my singular salt pack. The only flavor this thing gets tonight. But you know, I'm not even mad about it, guys. It was a great day. We got in safely. The drive went by really quickly. At least I thought it did. Uh, got checked in. Got my number. Everything set up. Ready to go for Saturday. I'm putting a really awesome workout at DMV Iron Gym, guys. So thanks for tuning in to my one day out. Well, it's technically two days out. So two days out from show day video. Going to catch you guys in the next one, which will probably be show day. We'll find out uh, depending on how things go tomorrow. But I love you, fam. Go do something productive. Be sure to like and subscribe. Support the channel. I'm trying to grow this and really put a lot of effort into YouTube for you guys this year. So every bit of support you can give me will be appreciated. But for right now, guys, I'm going to chow down, have a little family dinner, and I'll catch you guys soon. Peace.